Hi everyone. So today I am going to take another topic that is a pair of linear equations in two variables. So what is mean by equation? So equation is the form in which it contains variable or it can either constant term or uh, it must have some uh, signs either positive negative uh, signs and also the left hand side of the equivalent sign must be equals to zero then another term that is variable so we learnt about monomial binomial terms so monomial means the term which is having a single term and binomial means the term which is having two terms and trinomial means the term which is having three terms so the variable means so either it comes, uh, contains some uh, terms like x or y or uh, uh, z like that so the variable means the terms which, in which its value does not remain same throughout the solution of the equation so its value goes on changes for example in uh, one equation for example if you consider x and y term then uh, it is having the values 1 and 2. If you consider another equation, so its value may differ from 1 and 2. So uh, we can consider 3 or 4 or a minus uh, 6 and uh, 12 like it will change. It, the value does not remain same in variable. So now we have pair of linear equations in two variables. So before going to that, we have to learn what is meant by linear equation in one variable. So variable means the terms uh, whose values does not remain same throughout the process. So here with the one variable that means it contains a single variable. If you consider x and y, so it is, they are, these are two variables. So in equation if it is having only one variable, so either x or y or any other term, so then that kind of equations are known as the pair of uh, the linear equation in two variables. So linear equation means that equation, general form of that equation is ax plus b equals to 0. Okay. So a and b are your constant terms and uh, x is the variable. And if you consider ax, then a is the coefficient of x or a is the coefficient of the variable x. So see here, the algebraic equation of the type ax plus b equals to 0 the type so this is ax plus b equals to 0 is the general form of the linear equation okay general form of the linear equation is ax plus b equals to 0 in which a is not equals to 0 and b and uh, so there a and b are two real numbers and a is not equals to 0 so if you consider a is equals to 0 so then it becomes 0 into x plus b equals to 0. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, therefore it becomes 0 plus b equals to 0. So, that means b value is 0. So, b is the constant term. They are real numbers. So, and our equation uh, when x is uh, a equals to 0, our equation does not contain any variable. So, our heading is linear equation in one variable. So, when we substitute x is, uh, a equals to 0, then we does not have any variable in the equation. So therefore, our answer is the our equation is uh, not considered as a linear equation in one variable. So mainly, where ax plus b equals to zero is the general form of the equation in which a and b are two real numbers and uh, a is not equals to zero. But b can be zero, so it does not matter. But a the coefficient of x or coefficient of variable does not equal to 0 in that situation we can consider the equation as the linear equation in one variable so x is a variable in this equation if we consider another equation for example y plus 9 equals to 0 so this is also linear equation in one variable because it contains single term and if we consider 3y minus y equals 0 then this is also linear equation in one variable because it contains only one unknown term or one variable term so similarly here we have two equations 
So one is two x plus five equals to zero, and uh, another one is x minus nine equals to zero. So x is variable here in the first equation, and two and five are the real numbers. So in that equation, it contains only one variable term, and x is called as a variable in the first equation, and left hand side is zero because that shows the uh, this this is one equation. So now we have to find out by using that equation we have to find out what is the value of the linear equation. What is the value of the linear equation means what is the value of the variable term. So to solve that we have to do simple stuff. That is two uh, x plus five equals to zero. That means this implies two x equals to plus five and equals to other side becomes minus five. And x equals to minus pi by x equals to minus pi by. So this is the value of x. That means uh, the solution of this uh, linear equation 2x plus pi equals to zero is x equals to minus pi. So that means when we substitute x equals to minus pi by two in this equation, we'll get the right hand side equals to zero. So that uh, that value. Which we are substituting in a particular equation, so that we get value, the final value is zero. That kind of values are known as here the solutions of the equations or solution of the linear equation or so or uh, roots. Another term here is we are using roots of the linear equation. So here x equals to minus pi by two is root of two x plus pi equals to zero linear equation. Now similarly, we have another equation that is x minus nine equals to zero. Now we have to find out what is the solution of this linear equation. So very simple problem: x minus nine equals to zero. So minus nine we have to take that from the other side. It becomes x equals to nine. So x equals to nine is the solution of the linear equation x minus nine equals to zero. Or x equals to nine is the root of the linear equation x minus 9 equals to 0 or uh, x equals to 9 is root of this equation okay so now these are the two problem which shows how to find out the solution of the linear equation in one way so linear equation in one variable means the equation which is in the form of ax plus b equals to 0 and uh, a and b are Real numbers and a is not equals to zero. In that situation, we can call that equation as the linear equation in one way. Now, similarly, based on this, we can based on by using this uh, uh, linear equation general formula, we can uh, write any number of example of this. Okay, so we can consider five is equals to minus three. So this is also one equation because. Minus three when it comes to this side becomes a denominator term. That means pi by minus three or minus pi by three into x equals to zero. Okay. So now we have another one. So that is linear equation in two variables. Just now we learned about linear equation in one variable. So in that we are considering only single variable term. Now here linear equation in two variables. That means we have to use two variables in the equation apart from constant term. Okay, apart from constant term, we have to use two variables, and the constant term either maybe it is zero or it is a non-zero value. So it does not matter. So a linear equation in two variables. So that is uh, in that it is having the general form that is ax plus by plus c equals zero. In this equation. That is the linear equation. One variable we have the general formula a x plus b equals to zero, and uh, in the linear equation two variables we have the general formula a x plus b y plus c equals to zero. A x plus b y plus c equals to zero. So here a and b are a, b and c are the three real numbers, and x and y are the variables. A, B, C are the real numbers, and X and Y are the variables. So it, this equation contains two variables. So therefore, this is known as linear equation in two variables. 
the definition is the equation which can be put in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 where a, b and c are real numbers and a and b are not both zeros. Okay, so they are not equals to 0 and the x and y are here variables. So now based on that uh, we can frame uh, the example. So what is uh, 2x plus 3y minus 7 equals to 0 and uh, 9x minus 2y plus 8 equals to 0 and then 5x equals to y and minus 7x plus 2y plus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so these are all the equations and uh, so here a1x plus b1y plus a1 equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0. So this is general form 1, 2 equations are. So in this chapter we have to solve problem based on linear equation in 2 variables. So in that uh, we have to find out the solution by elimination method or substitution method or uh, by cross multiplication method or by graph method. Okay, we have to put the graph for the given equations also. So here, when we consider this uh, linear equation in two variables and to find out the solutions, uh, we have to use these four methods and uh, also we have to draw the graph. So by using the, putting the values, different values for x and y, uh, we can uh, get different coordinate points x and y and by using that values or by using that tabulation, we have to draw the linear equation graphs. So that is linear equation two variables graph. So this graph contains mainly three types. One, when uh, we consider two equations, the first case is the graph is coincident. So graph is coincident. That means values of x and y are same. So therefore, they, uh, another word for uh, that is they are overlapping on each other. They are overlapping on each other. They fall on each other. And uh, next case is the when we consider the solution, we are getting they are the two linear equations are having intersecting part. Okay, the graph is intersecting. And uh, another one, so case is the solution gives the graphs are parallel to each other. The graphs are parallel to each other. So first case, they are overlapping on each other. So we have, this is, this is the equation, this is a uh, linear graph. So in this we have different terms. So this is known as uh, y axis and this axis is known as y dash axis. So that means in the x axis value, y axis value we are using positive terms and in y dash axis we are using negative terms. Similarly this is x axis and this is x dash axis. Okay. Similarly in x axis we are getting values or positive values in the x dash axis we are to use the negative values. So the middle point, the intersecting point here is known as origin of the graph and the coordinate points of the origin is 0, 0. That is 0, 0. So this coordinate points we have to write in bracket. Okay. So curved brackets. So here this the first value represents x and second value represents y. So in the coordinate system, the first value we have to represent is x value and the second value we are representing is y value. So therefore, the coordinate points are always in the form of x, y. So first value is x we have to represent, then we have to represent y value. Okay, so that is a representation and this point, the central point or the intersecting point of the x and y axis are known as origin and uh, it is having the coordinate points as 0 comma 0 and uh, in that uh, solution of the linear equation in two variables we have three graphs one is uh, they are intersecting then they are parallel to each other and they are coincident they are intersecting 
they are parallel to each other and they are in the side so first one graph is they are in the side okay so this is the first so uh, graph or the line which shows the first difference in any equation a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0 in that a1 b1 c1 are the uh, real numbers and uh, x and y are the variable term when we substitute the values for x we will get the value of y or we can consider uh, value of y then we will get the value of x based on that solution uh, we can uh, write out tabulation and in the tabulation by using this graph we can run the then and uh, so in the first case we are getting the intersecting graph and in second case so this is x dash x this is the uh, um, this is y and this is y dash this is x and x dash so in that case we we'll get two parallel lines so this is, this is the second case first case the graph may be intersecting and in the second case the graph may be parallel to each other and uh, the third case the graph will so this is a uh, y dash axis y axis x dash axis and x axis so in that case the graph is overlapping on each other or they are superimposing on each other so these are the three nature of graph which are as a solution in the linear equation in two variables okay so linear equation one variable means the equation which is in the form of ax plus b equals to zero and uh, in that a b are the real numbers and x is the variable and in the linear equation in two variables the equation which is in the form of ax plus by plus c equals to zero and uh, in that a b and c are the real numbers and uh, x and uh, y are the variable terms and uh, in the graph we are getting three kinds one is they are intersecting and uh, second one is they are uh, parallel to each other and uh, either they are overlapping on each other or another term for that is they are coincident they are coincident thank you